Hi everyone, this is Theo from ParkerBlocks.com. In today's video, I want to talk about the most frustrating things that I experience when working with the Files app on iOS 11. I actually wanted to make a top 10 list of irritating things, but I lost count. So let's just jump right into it. By the way, I'm using iOS version 11.1.1 and the first thing that irritates me is when I connect my iPad to my computer, I'm running iTunes software by the way, there is no way for me to transfer files from my computer to the iPad while it's connected using the cable. So I need to get a separate app for that and that app is called Documents, which is now free, which is great. So these are all the apps that I have on my iPad and there is no files app so it's it's i don't know i think it's just silly anyway i have transferred some pictures into documents so let's go to my ipad now i'm back on the ipad so earlier on i transferred some photos to the documents app using itunes i want to transfer those photos into the photos app now so that i can refer to them easily so let's uh, open up files app and see if I can find those photos. So uh, they are located in documents. Let's take a look here. They are not here. Nope, they are not here. Let's go and open up document instead. Notice that there are some folders here that are not appearing in the files app. Let's see if I can put this side by side. Yes, I can. So let's take a look at the missing folders. Inside documents, I have this extra folder called iTunes files. And this is actually where all my photos are. So on the files app, it's missing some folders. So that's one silly thing. Let's select maybe just three photos to copy over to the files app because I cannot copy these three photos directly into the Photos app. I have to copy it here and then into the Photos app. So let me click Share and save it to Files. So I'm presented with this dialog box and here there's another silly thing. I want to save those photos into a folder on my iPad that is called photos but there is no way for me to create that folder so there's just um, no way for me to create that folder here inside the iPad so I'm just going to copy those photos into this folder called pages and add them and now I'm back in the files app let's check out the pages folder so my three photos they are here now one thing I noticed is there are only three folders here but earlier on while I was using the documents app when I tried to save it into the files app I could see one two three four five six seven seven folders but inside this files app there are only three folders so I'm not sure where the other four folders are anyway I don't use them so not too much of a problem but the thing is files app it doesn't show you all the folders so sometimes it may show you uh, sometimes it doesn't show you so I'm not sure when it's going to show you so um, all right so all the photos are inside this folder I want to create a folder here called photos so that in the future I can upload uh, transfer all those photos into this uh, photo folder but again there is no way for me to create that folder inside files app not here and also not inside the dialog box earlier on so this is this is just very silly the only way you can create a folder is if you connect to your iCloud drive and this is where you see that little uh, folder icon with the little plus sign this is where you can create a folder but not on your iPad okay so now i want to transfer those photos into the photos app i need to call up photos first 
I have already created an album that I want to drag and drop the photos into. So let me open up this. Let me select the three files and just drag over. All right, you cannot, you cannot select the files like this by pressing select one, two, three. It doesn't work that way. You have to click and tap on the file and then sort of add the files into this uh, collection here before you can drag over but you cannot select and drag over it doesn't work that way which is I'm 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 just um I'm just not too sure why it works this way anyway this is the only way to drag and drop uh, to copy files over into the photos uh, app so now I have three files here I have three files here Whenever you are moving a file into another app, you are actually duplicating the files. Now on my Mac or Windows desktop, when I move files, I just move them from one place to another. So um, I do not have duplicates on my computer, but on the iPad, you are always creating duplicates when you are sharing or exporting files to other apps. So that's just the way it is here, which is, I'm not sure whether it's CD or not, but that's just how it works. So why do I want to do this? I can actually view the photos in the documents or the files app as well. Well, let me show you why. This is my blog. I have created a story. I want to upload some photos um, to go with the story. So let me choose this button uh, here and click browse. So I want to add the photos that I have uploaded which is um let me just pick any three photos here i want to select all these photos to upload onto my website but again there is um no easy way to do that i mean i can select the photos together like this but there is no way for me to upload upload it to my website i mean i can select the photos but i cannot upload to my website so that is why I need to copy the photos into the photos app. So let me try and choose the files now from the photos app. All right, so now I can select multiple files to upload. And here it says three photos selected. I can only do this inside the photos app, but I cannot do that using the files app or the documents app. So with desktop computers or laptops, you can just easily, when you want to upload a file, you can just browse and go to the desktop or wherever your file is saved and you can select multiple files and upload. But here on iOS 11, for any app that you use, you have to remember a very specific workflow for that. Let me give you another example regarding the workflow. So I'm going to open Wacom Bamboo Paper this is an app for taking notes and for drawing. So I want to import some of those photos that I've transferred to the iPad earlier on. And I can only import photos from the Photos app. So, so my photos are here, but I cannot import photos from the Files app because in this particular app, it doesn't have, um, it, does, it cannot access the Files app. So yeah. And with other apps, for example, this is Medibank Paint Pro, I can import photos from the Photos app as well. These are the three photos. I can also import photos from the Files app. So let's take a look. So these are the three photos that I have. So it really depends on whether or not you, the app that you are using, whether it can um, access the files app and the photos app it really comes down to the individual uh, implementation of all these apps but on desktop OS like Mac OS or Windows whenever you open an app you can just go to the menu files open and look for the file wherever it is but here you need to remember the specific workflow because if you want to import something from the files app using Wacom bamboo paper for example you are not able to do that unless you copy 
those photos into the photos app let me show you another example so i have some videos in my documents app and i want to watch those videos using the vlc player let's see if i can import files um, nope there is no way for me to import those files into vlc player yeah it's not not that i can see so maybe let me try another player called player extreme so um, let's try and see if i can access the files that i have inside documents or inside the files app to play here inside this app again there is there is no way for me to import the files here so what this means is if you want to watch a video that um, you have on a computer you want to transfer it to your ipad you have to transfer it directly into the app that you want to watch with you cannot transfer it into files or into documents because there is no way for you to transfer those videos into um, into the video app which is again it's quite silly because if you compare it to desktop os if you have vlc you just go to the manual file open and just open the file but it's not that simple here on ios i also noticed some bugs on ios 11 or maybe they are called features here anyway let me open up files app there's this folder here called procreate now this folder is different from the gallery that is inside procreate here i have five files but with the files app i have only two files so the gallery inside Procreate is not the same place where um, the files are saved here. And here I'm presented with another issue. So these two files, they may look identical, but they are actually of different file types. And there is no way for me to easily differentiate these two because I cannot see the file extension so this file here this is actually a photoshop file and this file here this is a procreate file in order for me to find out what type of file this is i have to call up this uh, menu here and click on the info so this is here dot psd file and this is a procreate file now when i click on this procreate file when you open a procreate file outside of procreate like what i've done just now it will create a duplicate file inside procreate let me demonstrate that again so now i have two duplicate files so if you want to work with procreate it is best that you just work inside procreate and now i have to go delete the duplicate files also if you want to be able to identify the files very quickly at a glance when you save your files i recommend that you um, type in the file name with the extension so that way you can identify the files very easily because there is no way for you to turn on the file extension inside files app when it comes to downloading files the functionality will be a bit different depending on the website that you use for example here i want to download this file and here's the file i can see the icon here i need to click this button here and now it's downloading i can see the progress bar slowly filling up now that this file has downloaded successfully let me save this into the files folder so again i cannot create a folder so there is no folder called download i want to save it into that folder and i cannot create a folder so let me just save it into documents instead into this downloads uh, folder now this is one way to download files the other way this is um, this is a file that i have uploaded onto google drive i have created a share link so this is what i get when i click on that share link and this is the file that I want to download. It's a zip file. So let me just click on this button and see what happens. Now, if you're on desktop, you will see a drop down box immediately that asks you where to save that file. But here on the iPad, it's, it's not going to happen. So it's not going to happen. So 
if you are going to be downloading files from the Google Drive uh, by clicking this button it's not going to do anything I'm not sure whether this is a bug on the Google Drive website or it's a bug on the iOS but whatever it is I want to download a file but I cannot do so of course you can ask the person who is sending you the file to send it to you through email but if it's a large file maybe send it through Dropbox here's another silly thing so if I want to rename a file inside files app this file by the way is inside a folder that's inside files app I can rename it I have the ability to rename it but um, if I tap on this documents app here because documents is integrated with the files app I can tap on this I can go into the folder and here I want to rename this file but I cannot rename the file here so I can rename it on my iPad but I cannot rename it here which is I'm not sure what's happening now here's another CD thing see this icon here you can add a folder inside documents app but you cannot add a folder inside files app so the functionality of the files app things like the ability to rename files the ability to create folders the ability to delete files it's not implemented evenly across um, the whole app to other integrations like drive google drive or documents app so for example i wanted to rename a file here inside files app i can do so if i want to delete a file i can do so but if i want to delete a file from the documents app if i want to delete this file even if I can see the file that I want to delete, I cannot delete this because this file is technically inside the documents app. It's just that this files app allows you to browse into the documents app to see the files, but the functionality there is limited. So to delete this, I have to basically go into the documents app to delete it. If I can narrow everything down that I have said earlier to one frustrating thing that I really hate about the file management system on iOS, it's this. You have to remember specific workflows for specific apps that you use. On desktop OS, it is so easy to open a file. You can do it inside the app. Just go to file, open and browse to wherever your file is. Or you can just open the file directly by double clicking it and it will open with the associated file. Or sometimes you may want to open that file with another application. In that case, you can right click and choose whatever app that is there to open the file with it is so easy now you may think that oh it's ios it should perform differently compared to desktop file system um, yeah that's true but it's counterproductive and it wastes a lot of time and to do what you would take split seconds to do on desktop now you have to remember all the workarounds on the ios 11 uh, it's it's very silly and it's very counterproductive. Another thing I want to mention is how I wish that there is this feature that allows you to connect your iOS devices to your computer using a cable and have that device show up as an external storage. Android devices has had this feature since forever but on iOS this is actually a very basic feature but it's not available on ios i i do not know how that is even possible from a company like apple i guess that's all i have to say i hope this video is helpful to those people who haven't bought any apple ios devices before because this is what you can expect with the file management system on Apple iOS. And that's all for my video today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you are facing similar frustrations or different types of frustrations with the file management system on iOS, let me know in the comment section as well. Thanks for watching this very long rant. See you in the next video. Bye.